It's YouTube time. It sure is. YouTube Law of Attraction time. Hello, everyone. It's Beth McCain here. Hi, I'm Lee McCain. And we're here to talk about the Law of Attraction. Which we do every week. We sure do. This is show like number 94. Is it? I think 94. My gosh. This My is 94. Gosh. That's amazing. Six away from 100. <laughs> there you go. What are we going to do when we get to 100 shows? Um, sing and dance? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I want to see you do that. Uh, you're right. <laughs> you're not going to hear me sing. <laughs> you're like the little Warner Brothers frog. Am I? Yeah. I no. do it all the time as a goofball, but yeah, I never, but, yeah. But you never do it on the air. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. That's Beth McCain singing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, well, welcome, 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 everybody, to show number 94. And um, we've got some uh, some great questions lined up here. The, we do. The movie is now shipping, so yay, yay, it's, yay. it's on the way to everybody who ordered it. And uh, it's going to be available on the internet here pretty soon mm -hmm. for downloads, well, we Netflix, keep, and we all keep that. We keep getting, you know, emails. When's the movie coming out? You know, and it and it's so funny. It's like I tell you what, people. It's just, left our hands. Yeah, we just got to sit and let it happen yeah. now. So there you go. So uh, I can't, uh, the DVD box really looks pretty, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun doing that. It sure has. It sure has. Well, well uh, you, shall we do some wonderful questions? Sure. I'll ask you first. How's that? Okay. Who's this from? From Taylor, and she's from Texas. Hey there, Taylor. Hey, how do you know it's a she? I don't. Could be like Taylor Hicks. Yeah, I think well, he's from Texas. You know why? Because the question kind of sounds like a girl. Ah. But if it isn't, sorry, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Taylor in Texas. <laughs> it seems like the more knowledge I gain from the law of attraction, my life seems to get more crazy. Is this normal? What's normal? <laughs> First of all, what, let's define what is normal. <laughs> Well, uh, Taylor, when beginning to apply the knowledge you have with the Law of Attraction, mm -hmm. your logical mind is being retained to use more positive thoughts and feelings instead of the thoughts that it's always relied on. Now, think about that for a minute. You're retraining. Yeah, you're like doing major retraining, just like if you got it on the track mm -hmm. or out in the, you know, in, in, on the gym or whatever. You know, when, and when you start out, there's a little bit of, craziness isn't there a little Come pain home a, little a little sore hurt. yeah a little <laughs> sore so you know you're in the middle of retraining your mind to, to focus on the positive thoughts and feelings mm -hmm. your mind has been using the same repetitive patterns for quite some time and when you decide to change them the mind is surely going to put up a struggle mm -hmm. it's like anything well you know, you know i'm gonna we shouldn't say surely but most people most people are going to have a little bit of a struggle making that change. 99.9 .9 out of 100. Yeah, you're just going <laughs> to, unless someone just goes, all right, that's it. I'm yep. changing it. And they do it. Man, hey, if that's happened to you, yeah. would you please email yeah, us and let us like know? To, we'd like to, first of all, get a, <laughs> Congratulate get, you. get a bronze replica of you and put it here in the studio. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, so, so basically, Taylor, the craziness in life will pass mm -hmm. as you change your negative thoughts into positive ones. The positive thoughts will become your new experiences of ease and joy as those old patterns begin to disappear. Don't forget about ease and joy, though. Ease, yeah. Ease, ease. Ease and joy. You got something for me? I do. Um, this one comes from, ooh, all the way from Canada. Ooh. Hello there, eh? <laughs> Who let's is see, it? Let's see what this question's though, a boot. Who is it? Uh, it is Herb. Oh, hi, Herb. So that's a boy. Okay. <laughs> that's for sure. And if it's not, sorry, Herb. <laughs> so Herb writes, can the world be saved from killing uh, from us killing it? Wow. It seems as if the world is being taken advantage of through lots of different avenues. Mm. So can we save the world? Well, let's start with this. You know, the world has been around for millions of years. A little bit longer than us. And don't you think that the universe knows the intentions of every one of us, you know? We can make this world last a little longer by treating it with kindness, but our kindness is not going to stop the natural evolution of the earth. Whatever that is. Yeah, whatever yeah. that is. It changes in its cycles and has for millions of years with or without us. We are living on this earth, and living here creates a change. Mm -hmm. Be kind to the world and its inhabitants and continue creating your life. 
The world really can take care of itself. The earth is all about change and everything we do changes it. Yeah. Every breath we breathe changes it. It adapts to us as we adapt to it. Mm -hmm. You can use the law of attraction to make your world a better place, which will make the world a better place. And it's just that simple. You can boil it down. It is true. Does that mean you're going to become a polywog maybe or something like that? Me? Well, you know, as you evolve and, and evolutionize. Along with the world? Well, I don't necessarily mean it in that way. You'd be a cute polywog. You know, the earth just continues its cycles over and over again, and things change. It adapts. It gets mm -hmm. older, just like we do. Yeah. And, you know, be kind to it, definitely. Yeah. But to say that we're killing it, it's going to, listen, it, it's going to adapt, believe yeah. me. And it'll take care of itself. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be long gone before any of that happens anyway. So maybe coming back won't. and... Doing another trip. I think I think I decided I'll be here forever. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you are, then I'll be with you. Okay. Well, folks, that's it for this week. And, you know, our movie came out like we said. And what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, show you the trailer one more time mm -hmm. on this episode of the Beth and Nina Kane radio show on YouTube. And we're going to show you that right now. Hope you enjoy it. And until next week, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Without a doubt, the law of attraction and positive thought are gaining ground in the world. But is there truly a shift in consciousness? Positive thought is a key to living the life that you want. And the law of attraction is how you get it. What are we here for? We discover ourselves through the life around us because the life around us reveals us to ourselves. And living the life that you want to live really is just to allow yourself to just be yourself because when we're in our natural state things like joy arise spontaneously that's why we're here we are adventurers that's not even a question we came to experience and to learn and to observe what it's like to live in a material world we truly are spiritual beings that's where we start is there such a thing as a one true love what is abundance do I ever need to be concerned about the future? What are we supposed to know on this earth? I'd like to know who is God? Why is there so much meanness and sadness in the world? You will have the answers to these questions. But in recent months, Rachel Rizzo has lost faith in the law of attraction, and she finds positive thought difficult to hold on to. She had lost what to her was one of the most important goals in her young life, her own national television series, but then a major setback occurred when her show Nana's Cottage was canceled after two seasons for lack of production funds. Would she bounce back from her negative thoughts and resume the life she truly wants? The world is primed for the law of attraction and positive thinking. We're seeing it on a national level like we've never seen it before. We gather because we have chosen hope over fear and all deserve a chance to pursue their full measure of happiness. This is when I got the secret thing, but I didn't know it was called the secret. So you're not surprised at the success of the secret. This is the law of attraction. It is your life. You are what you attract. And the exciting part of the equation is that we each have the ability to attract what we want in life. The universal gift of the law of attraction is yours for the taking. It has always been here, and it always will be. The life you wish to lead is yours to lead. What will you attract? The choice is yours.